So to get started, let's go to Window and then Toolbar. Once the toolbar is up, I'm going to click right here for the brush palette. And then I'm also going to click right here for the layers. Okay. And last, I'm going to bring up my resize brush tool right here. Okay. So I'm going to just zoom out a tiny bit. And I'll select my paintbrush. And I'm going to choose black for my color. And then we just want to draw the body. This is kind of like a bean shape. So I'm going to zoom in here and just fix this little mistake that I made. Take my paintbrush here. I'll zoom in maybe further. Zoom back out. So I'm going to move this down a little bit because he's got these antennas that go pretty high. So then let's go in and give him some legs. His legs are very easy. Okay. So I'm going to undo that and try this again a little bit further over. And then I'll take my eraser right here and I'll erase this over here. And I'll zoom out. Okay, let's give him some arms. So I'll come in here the arms are going to be about halfway down the body. So it uh, just kind of comes out and then down. And he doesn't have hands, he just has stubs. So we'll zoom in here. I'll erase this area here. Come in and fix this line. And then I'll erase this section over here. And so now when I um, do the second arm on this side, I'm going to want to make sure that it's at the same height as this arm. So I'll come in here. erase this right here. Okay. Uh, I'll zoom in over here and we'll draw the eye. So we need an oval shape here. I'll come in and maybe erase this this up. Zoom in here. And then he's got an eyelid, so we're going to add like a curve here at the top. And then like a little 
little bump here. It's going to go past. So now come in here and erase, clean this up a little bit. Make my eraser smaller. Add another line right here, maybe. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to take it away. All right, so for the rest of the eye, I'm going to zoom in on the eye area here. And he's looking to the side. And we just need an area for reflection. Okay. All right. So now let's go in and you know. I need a little more space on my canvas, so I'm going to increase my canvas size. So I'm going to go to Image, Canvas Size, and you can see my width and height. I'll just change my height a little bit, so I'm going to add more pixels. So let's try 800. If you have enough space at the top to draw these antenna, then you don't need to change your canvas, your canvas size. I'm going to take this and now move everything down. All right. Now for his antenna. So I'll take my paintbrush here and uh, just draw a fa fast line. I hit Z to undo. I need to. And actually, it might be easier just to take my lasso tool and copy then paste this line. So I'll hit Command C on the Mac and, or Control C on the keyboard and then Command V to paste. And I'll just move this over here and then rotate this slightly. And then we can let's zoom out a little bit, see how that looks. And then we can just copy and paste this. So I'll select the majority of the antenna here. Command C, Command V to paste. And I'll rotate this. Move it over here. And then I'm going to take my eraser and erase the extra. I'll zoom in over here, erase extra here. OK. And the last thing he has is an, a single eyebrow. And basically goes across like this and then you just need to color this in or fill this in with black And then let's add a smile. So I'm going to just draw a smile in here. And then we'll 
little detail there. And then up here on the antenna, we just need some uh, some lines. I'm going to go all the way down to two. And there's just a few lines going across the top here. So at this point we're ready to color him in. So I'll bring up my colors and I'll choose a green color here. Let's see how this looks. Change that a little bit. Just fill in these areas that I need with green. Let's go over here, fill those in with green. We'll zoom in over here on the antenna, fill this in. That's not going to work there, so we'll have to fix that manually. Okay. So I'm going to take my uh, paintbrush here and see if I can paint in here. But as you can see, what that does is it spills over that line. So I'm going to create a new layer. I go to Add Layer, and I'll move that layer below the layer that has plankton on it. And then I'm going to paint, and you can see because I'm painting below the layer that has the black lines, I can I can just um, paint a lot easier and fill in those areas that I need to here. Okay. I'm going down here, paint right here. Just fill in these areas where the flood fill did not work. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the background layer right here. I we should just rename this. Let's rename this to character. Okay. So make sure you're on this back, uh, the character layer, the layer that has plankton, the drawing of plankton on it. And let's go in and fill in the eye with a yellow color. It should be less saturated though, there we go. And then his pupil should be red. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, merge these two layers. So right here, if we turn off the visibility in this layer, you can see this is where we did all the, the additional painting that we needed to fill in those areas where the flood fill tool did not work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to merge the character layer with layer one. So I'll go, I'll click here in the center and go to merge with below. It changed the name to layer one, and I'm going to rename this again, character. And then I'll click in the center right here and go to add layer, and let's rename this to background. 
and then I'll take this layer, click on it, drag over and down so I can see that blue line pop up, and there's my background layer on the bottom there. And then I'm just going to fill that in with a red color. And I'll go back to the character layer choose white and then zoom in over here and fill this area in with white for that reflection okay so we're all done make sure that you save this before you close the program and that's the end of the tutorial